Hello and welcome to Dr. Nora's clinic. Today I'll be showing you how to test your blood sugar levels at home. With me today I've got two different blood sugar monitoring kits. Let's take a closer look. As you can see with both kits, they have a glucometer. These are the devices that will test your sugar. Now, all glucometers are very similar. However, with these two, they're different brands. This is a simple test and go, whereas this one is slightly more advanced and it gives you a traffic light system as to whether your sugars are under, within a normal range or higher than where they should be. It also allows you to plug it into your computer so you can download your sugar readings through a USB device. Now, the biggest similarity with all of these, and probably the most important part, is the testing strip area. For this one, it is placed here, and for this one, it is placed here. And this is where your testing strip will be placed. Now, speaking of testing strips, each of these glucose machines comes with their own specific testing strips. Let's take a look. It is really important that you don't mix the testing strips with different machines because it won't work. So make sure that your prescription is correct before you insert it into your machine. Both of the devices will come with something called a Lancet device. And Lancets, which essentially is another word for a needle. Whenever you're testing your sugar, it's always really important to have a sharp spin close by. This is one that you can get from the pharmacy or your doctor. You can fill this up and then give it back to your pharmacist once it's full. This will allow you to avoid any injuries to yourself or other people after you've used the needles. Before you test your blood sugar levels, it's really important to clean your hands thoroughly to avoid any infection into the puncture site. Let's take a closer look. This is the needle, otherwise known as the Lancet. There are two different ways of pricking your skin. The first of is to use the needle directly onto your skin, like so. It's really important that you only prick the skin at a very superficial level. Now this doesn't mean that you need to dig in the needle very far, only enough to puncture the site to give you a drop of blood. The second way is to use the Lancet device. And you do this by loading the Lancet device with your needle like so, putting the cap back on and loading the needle. The great thing about using the Lancet device is that you're able to adjust the depth of the puncture site into your skin from one millimeter up to five millimeters. Now, a lot of my patients prefer to use the needle directly onto their skin as it saves them time from reloading their Lancet device. However, using the Lancet device does give you that added benefit of controlling the depth of the needle. First up, it's time to turn on your machine. You can do this by placing a testing strip into the machine, like so. Make sure that you've set the date. And now you're ready for a finger prick. Now, for those of you who haven't done this before, or for those of you who just want to know, what does it feel like? Well, it feels like a very sharp, short, quick prick onto your finger. It only lasts a couple of seconds, and most people who have done it a lot of times tend to get used to it, so it's not too bad. Let's get going. First up, you want to squeeze your finger, get a nice pulp of your finger, get your Lancet device, load it up, and press on the button. And now squeeze some blood out of your finger so you get a nice droplet of blood. Once you've got that, place your blood next to the testing strip. And there you have it. You can use a cotton bud just to wipe away any of the excess blood. 
and voila, you've got your blood sugar level. It's really important to write down that number. Some of the testing devices will be able to memorize those numbers for you and you'll be able to put them onto your computer. But to show your doctor or your diabetes educator, make sure you take a note of it. After you've done that, you need to dispose of your needle in the sharp spin. Unload your Lancet device, take out your needle carefully, place it in your Sharps device. Now, as you can see, this has got danger written on it. It's really important that no kids or no children put their fingers inside the Sharps device because it does contain sharp needles. This will help the prevention of any bloodborne viruses such as HIV or hepatitis. Once your Sharps device is full, you can give it into the pharmacy and get a new one. Now, what about if you don't have enough blood on your finger? Well, don't fear. If you don't have enough blood or if it hasn't worked on your testing device, you can always re-prick your finger. Choose another finger, for example, the middle finger. Make sure it's nice and warm so that your blood is closer to the surface. You may also need to adjust the depth of your Lancet device. For example, changing it three to a four. And then you can just simply re-prick your finger and place it onto your blood testing strip. So there you have it. Now you know exactly how to test your own blood sugar levels at home. If you have any questions, please feel free to drop me a comment in the comment section below. But for now, take care and stay healthy.